Okay, everyone, what we've got here is an advert, and the advert is for Summit Hotels and Resorts. What we're going to have a look at are principles, elements, and features that we can see within this document. The reason that I'm doing this is so that when you're doing the tasks that I set you to analyse these adverts, you've got a better idea about what we expect you to be able to tell us about at hire. It's a little bit different from National 5. In National 5, all you had to do was point to an element or a principle and tell us what it was. But when you get to hire, you've got to describe how it's been achieved and what its purpose is. So first of all, I'm going to take you through some of the principles that I've found. If I scroll down here, you'll see we have a main image with the fork and the fruit on it. And round this we have small arc shaped pieces of text. Now these are text along a path. That's what the feature is. Now the principle that can be achieved by using this, this feature, this curved text, is the simplest one is contrast. Because most text that we see on a page goes from left to right and is horizontal. As soon as we see text which is not horizontal going from left to right, then it's contrast. Contrast, remember, is something which catches our attention. However, what we've got here is something a little bit different. And this is a new principle which is part of the higher course. And this principle is flow and rhythm. When we talk about flow and rhythm, it's almost as if there's some kind of movement going on on the screen. So what we have here is that text flowing down towards the fruit. We've got the text flowing around this way, aiming towards the fork. We've got text coming away, text flowing down, text flowing around here. So what we have is a sense of movement. When we've got a sense of movement on the page, then we've got flow. And we've got rhythm because each of the arcs are about the same size. And if you think about rhythm in graphics as being the same as it is rhythm in music, then it's almost looking for a beat somewhere. So we see beat, 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 beat. It's a nice steady continuation of the same flow going around the page. So that principle is flow and rhythm. The second one is going to be contrast, which is what I mentioned before with the text along a path. So that's a nice simple one for us. And what the designer has done that for is to just catch our attention. Each one of those little bits of text has got a purpose. So it tells you where each of the hotels are. So each of those little strands will tell the person looking at the advert where they could go and visit this hotel and resort. Also linked with this, we've got repetition. If I look at this colour here, and then I scroll down the screen, I can see exactly the same colour appearing here. This colour has been repeated with that colour. In the same way that this colour here for the main summit, hotels and resorts, has been repeated on this part. So we've got repetition going on. So there are our three principles. We've got flow and rhythm, contrast and repetition. The purpose of them, the flow and the rhythm, is to guide the viewer's eyes around the page. So they're going to look at this and flow onto that one, which flows onto that. So we're using this as a way of guiding the viewer's eyes around the page. Contrast is the simplest one. That's just to make things stand out. If you've got something important you want to do, then you make sure you've put some contrast on it and it makes someone read it. So we've got text along a path which is creating contrast. Repetition and unity. Why is it the designer does that? Well, they're doing it to reinforce the brand. This is a main hotel chain in the Far East and Asia, Summit Hotels. And what they've got is something called a brand. And by using this repetition, they are reinforcing the brand. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see the whole advert again. Next, we're going to look at the elements. 
And the three elements I've chosen here are text, which is a nice simple one here. So we've got lots of different kinds of text that you can talk about. We've got probably some serif fonts and we've got some sans serif. Remember, sans serif means without the serif. So that's a nice simple one. We've definitely got colour going on because the text is all in different colours. We've got an image, again a nice simple one. And we've got a shape. I suppose we could call this part down here. We could either call that an image or we could call it a shape. It's probably the logo for the hotel. So it could be one of two things. It could be a shape or it could be an image. We've also got something new in this one. And this element we've got here, we're going to call that texture. And texture is something that we put on the advert to make it look as if when we ran our fingers across the surface of it, we could almost feel what it looks like, which sounds a bit strange, but imagine you've got fancy wallpaper on your house, on the wall in your bedroom perhaps, and if you run your fingers across it, you can feel all the little bumps and dents of the wallpaper. That's the texture. So our elements we've looked at here are text, images, and texture. And perhaps we could make a case for saying that's a shape, but it might be an image, we're not sure. The final thing we're going to look at are the features. Now the features means what has been edited. It's just a fancy name for editing. So what have we edited on here? Well, we've got a cropped image. This has been a close cropped image. Obviously that fork probably had something else in the background whenever it was photographed. And what the graphic designer has done is they've removed all the background and replaced it with the one that we see here. So that's a close cropped image. We've also got text along a path, which we've talked about before. Text along the path is a great one when you get it in an advert because there's lots of things you can talk about. You can talk about the contrast, you can talk about flow, and you can talk about it being a feature and an edit. And the final thing I did just to finish off was to say that this text here has been center aligned. So we can imagine that symmetry going up through there. We've got the same amount of text hanging on that side as we do on that side. So those are the kind of descriptions that we expect whenever you're analysing or assessing an advert. Explain exactly what the elements, the principles and the features are. And also try and think about why was that designer doing it? It's not enough to simply point at something and say this is contrast or this is proximity. You have to say why. And while I mentioned proximity, you could also make a case for proximity here. Look how far in the text is coming into the body of the image. Same here, it's coming down, going into the gap between the fruit on the fork. So there's close proximity. So you're saying that these hotels are closely associated with fine dining. Hopefully that little short video has shown you the kind of things that we're looking for when it comes to submitting back your findings. Please, please make sure that you fully answer the whole task. Don't just do text boxes with arrows saying this is contrast. That's only National 5 and you'll only ever get National 5 if that's what you do. So work hard and we'll see if we can get you hires by this time next year.